to the Jekyll 69 channel where shit is always interesting. Today's date is the 19th of February 2015 and this is Hits on Twitter. Happy Chinese New Year to everyone out there. It is the Chinese New Year today and there will be many celebrations not just in China but also in places like London where they have a massive celebration and events happening in Trafalgar Square and throughout the Chinese district of London where you can dine on their fine cuisine and also check out some of their interesting decorations. And if you are a goat, then this year is the year for you as it is the year of the goat. So if you'd like to show some joy and spread your love for the Chinese New Year and the year of the goat, you can do so using the hashtags Happy Chinese New Year and the year of the goat. And it is also the year of the new Blur album entitled The Magic Whip with the single Go Out to be released shortly. This is Blur's first album in 12 years. Since they split up, David Auburn has been working alongside many artists and releasing the albums known as the artists of Gorilla. And now they are back together and they are set to tour and headline gigs and festivals throughout this summer. So enjoy them while you still can. And hopefully this time, David Olburn won't be so drunk throughout his tours and festival headlining appearances. And keeping with music, we have the hashtag of Say Yes Madonna. This is not only trending in the UK, but also in the USA as well. And it is a bit of a weird one, as it is an English wrestler that's in the low leagues who uses the Madonna track like a prayer when he comes onto the stage right? and he wants to be able to use it legitimately but he has to get her agreement to do so and use it in a public way. So everybody is campaigning on Twitter at the moment for Madonna to say yes for him to keep it and to still be able to use it. He might not be a massively known wrestler but he is a he might not be a massively known wrestler but he certainly is a massive wrestler so come on madonna and help him out and say yes there are a few summits happening today one of them is the disney summit there have been many announcements including walt disney world park to find writers for their new blogs they're also talking about different ways in which they could tell their stories and other ways and mediums of keeping the brand going and making it move forward in the future. But moving quickly past Disney and everything they are talking about in their summit, it is also a summit in the White House to talk about how to deal with extremism. This is the Counter Violent Extremism Summit that is happening in the White House where they are talking about different ways and laws that they can implement to help battle extremism such as ISIS, the Israeli State Army, who are a massive global threat at the moment as they are pretty much like a virus, they're not just coming out from a country to go and wage war, they're influencing people who are lost, not well educated and have been through some severely bad times and as we all know there are a lot of people out there like this that they are manipulating and changing the way they think so that they will sympathise with their cause and help fight for it. Unfortunately, this is how ISIS is spreading themselves around the globe and how terrorism spreads with the religious implications behind it that the Israeli state are using to wage their war on the West and to also spread their message which is anti-education, anti-books and pretty much anti-everything. If you thought 
people from the Middle East were bad because they made their women wear burkas and they were dominant compared to their female counterparts and they cut your hand off if you nick an apple. ISIS makes all that look like Teletubby work. But moving quickly away from the political world, we are going into the scientific world with Oliver Sacks, who has just released a paper on what it feels like knowing that he is about to die. Oliver Sacks is a neurologist who has just found out he has terminal liver cancer, and he's written a paper all about it and the way he feels and what his emotional states are along with everything else that goes along in the brain and the disease itself. This is a paper that is freely available online and you can find loads of URLs towards it and further research into liver cancer and Oliver Sacks as well through the Twitter hashtag of Oliver Sacks. This has been Hits on Twitter for the 19th of February 2015 on the Jekyll69 channel where shit is always interesting. Thanks very much for watching, remember to check out and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, keep your shit interesting and keep smiling. This is the Jekyll69 channel where interesting shit happens every day. So remember to subscribe and comment to our channel for interesting shit to do with the world of technology. Hits on Twitter, film reviews, my life with Android and Kickstarter. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe and comment. And until next time, keep your shit interesting.